Hey, this is Larry Powell, Circle P Marketing. I just wanted to get this quick screencast over to you guys explaining how you can get more customers headed towards your guys' business. Um, so first thing I wanted to show you guys, you mentioned you don't have a website. Um, this is a website I recently built um, for a company here out of Eugene, Oregon. Um, and the reason I wanted to show you guys this is just to kind of explain that you don't really have to have anything too, um, you know, off the wall as far as the website. It doesn't have to be um, you know, too extravagant. Um, really, people are looking for the services that you guys are offering, and they're going to click on the first one um, that's in those search results. So what you guys are really looking for here is the 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on this homepage. Um, there was a recent study done by Google. They looked at over a million different websites across multiple niches, looking at all the top rank websites in those niches. And what they found was that 1,500 to 2,000 words of content is really ideal for rankings um, for getting you into that top spot. Um, so again, the 1,500 words of content, the click to call buttons are very important. So as you're building out a website for your business, uh, making sure that that's a click to call so that people can connect with you guys from their mobile devices. Um, and then obviously the different services and stuff that are offered. Um, you guys want to have pages for that as well, just because you do offer a number of different services. Um, so looking at keywords, um, I kind of looked at the different keywords and services you guys offer. Um, this is just two that I found in a short amount of time. Um, Painters Memphis, Tennessee is currently getting 200 searches per month. Um, and pressure washing Memphis, Tennessee is getting 70. Um, so being in the top spot for each one of these keywords, you can figure on getting about 33% of that search traffic headed to your website. So looking over at Google, I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown here. Uh, everybody knows how to use Google, but not everybody fully understands what you're looking at. Um, so this is people are paying Google to have their business up here at the top. Um, while you can definitely generate traffic that way, you're going to see a lot more traffic and a lot higher return on investment um, by organically getting your business ranked here in the three pack or, GM, or GMB or Google My Business. There's a lot of different names for it um, and organically getting it ranked here in these organic search results. Um, so looking at the top competition, um, I don't really consider Home Advisor, Yelp, or Thumbtack to really be competition just because Google really prefers to rank the small business owner over these large national directory websites. Um, so looking down here at Caldwell Painting, um, their website, they do have a nice website. They don't have a lot of content on this website, so I definitely think if you guys were to get a site up, um, with that 1,500 to 2,000 words of content, you'd definitely be beating them out in that regard. Um, but yeah, overall, not really super impressed with what they have going on here. Um, so we're going to look at the back end of their website and kind of what influences rankings. Um, so what, what we're looking at here is what's called backlinks and referring domains. And the best way to describe what a backlink is, is it's kind of like a high school popularity contest. And you have the most popular kid in school, or site A, and he's going to link himself to the least popular kid in school, or site B. And by linking himself to that least popular kid in school, it actually brings up the popularity of that least popular kid or website B. Um, it makes it more popular in Google's eyes and brings it up in the rankings. So what you're looking for on these is the referring domains. This is a very important part. Um, and if they're do follow or not. And that do follow is important because that means you're getting what we call backlink juice back to your website. And that backlink juice is what brings the popularity and helps your business move up in the rankings. So those are very important for increasing your rankings for your business. The last thing I wanted to talk about is how you get your business into this three pack. Um, so if you guys currently do not have a GMB, I would highly recommend getting one put up. Um, there's a couple different things for how you can get your business into this three pack. Uh, one of them is obviously having a GMB. Um, the next one is how optimized out you have that GMB. And by optimizing out your GMB, what I mean by that is you have your description, your business name, your phone number, your hours, all of that is filled in. And within that description, you also want to make sure you include these high search volume keywords that are going to generate a lot of traffic to your guys' business. The next factor is what's called citations. And citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed on the web. Um, you can find great citation sources from websites like uh, Yelp and Yellow Book, um, those free Yelp pages. Those are great citation sources. The more citation sources you have, the more likely you are to be in this three pack. The last factor is actually your organic rankings. So where do you sit organically? Um, if you're organically ranking high, it's going to have a big influence on if your business is in this three pack. If you have any questions on anything I went over in this video, definitely reach out. I'd love to talk to you more.